Hello, yes. Um, it's me. I just wanted to say I didn't have a bit for the beginning. Back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about The New Swiss Family Robinson. The New Swiss Family Robinson is a 1999 television release. It's directed and written by Stuart Raphael, cinematography by Willie Courant, editing by Terry Kelly, and the music is by John Scott. Stuart Raphael is best known for Passenger 57, The Ice Pirates, and High Risk. Willie Courant, I covered in the video about the Little Riders. The link will be in the description. Terry Kelly is best known for Emerald City, Black Sails, Beavis and Butthead Do America, and Homeland. John Scott is best known for Prisoner, The Limey, Amores, and you're the hunter of the future. The film is based off a book, but I did a comparison to this book already and summarized the book back in the video about Beverly Hills Family Robinson, so go check out that video to see the the book summary thingy that I do. The film stars Jane Seymour, James Keach, John Asher, Blake Bashoff, Jamie Renee Smith, Yumi Iwama, and David Carradine. Jane Seymour plays Anna and is best known for Live and Let Die, Somewhere in Time, Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman, and Wedding Crashers. James Keach plays Jack and is best known for National Lampoon's Vacation, Walk the Line, Waiting for Forever, and The Young Riders. John Asher plays Shane and he's best known for A Boy Called Poe, Dirty Love, One Tree Hill, and soundtrack. Blake Bashoff plays Todd and is best known for Big Bully, Lost, Bushwhacked, and Minority Report. Jamie Renee Smith plays Elizabeth and is best known for Merry Happy Whatever, 911, Better Things, and Hidden Canyons. Yumi Iwama plays Francois and is best known for Diagnosis Murder, Dead Island, A Long Story About Nothing, and Other People. David Carradine plays Sheldon and is best known for Kill Bill Volume 2, Bound for Glory, Death Race 2000, and Big Stan. I'm gonna start with some random things. You can see a boom mic pop into screen around the 29 minute mark. There are two parent deaths. Francois says her parents are passed away and shows their graves on screen. I even ch checked the French translation for mom and dad. Checks out. I jumped at the dude who was sleeping in the boat, waking up when he was trying to steal the boat. I jumped at that. So I thought that was hilarious. This film in general, I was actually very surprised with. I thought it was pretty good. I don't think, I mean, it's obviously not the original and it isn't super faithful to the original, but I liked their modern take on making it pirates and that it wasn't necessarily a storm, but it was the pirates making them have to go in the dark and making them go off course. So they hit a reef, which caused them to crash and get stranded, etc., etc. I thought that was very interesting. And then I thought it was interesting that they don't get saved by like, you know, someone looking for Francois. They save themselves by stealing the pirate's big cargo ship thingy and stuff like that. I thought that was all very, spoiler alert, by the way. <laughs> um, I thought that was all really interesting and a nice modern reimagining of it. Um, that being said, I don't think it captures everything of the original. There's just something so magical about the original and visually stunning about the original. And this one, while it is definitely better than Beverly Hills Family Robinson, because it captures a lot of the family heart and takes itself much more seriously than Beverly Hills Family Robinson did, um, it still is missing something that the first one had. Um, but I will say this one was definitely more intense. They showed blood a lot. There was a lot of violence and, uh, the story was quicker and more, um, cause and effect. The biggest critique, however, I have for this film is the section in the middle between Shane and Francois. When she kidnaps him, his reaction to this entire situation is so interesting to me because he's on an island stranded with his family and they're trying to make the best of it, but they don't know where they are. They don't know when they're going to be saved. And he is kidnapped by someone he doesn't know who seems to be acting like a crazy person. And she ties him up and is like keeping him hostage. And he is very cool about the whole situation. And then when she finally unties him, he's like attracted to her and doesn't want to lose her and like immediately kisses her and wants to make out and stuff. And she like kind of sexually assaults him a little bit by like trying to check under his pants. And like, it was just a very uncomfortable sequence. And then like, he almost like gives up his family to go run away on the island to be with Francois because he wants to marry her, but he's like probably like 16, 17. And it's just like really weird. And they don't even speak the same language and it's just kind of cringe. And it really stunts the film. There's just a section in the middle 
where they deal with this little like love story moment because that is in the original except she's english so they speak the same language and they fall in love i feel like very naturally um but this i don't know because she didn't speak a second language they had to keep the movie shorter it was just too short and very like juxtaposed with the rest of the plot and how they were telling the story so it just felt very like rushed but then brought the rest of the film to a standstill of a pace. So like while the story surrounding it moved quickly and was very good and entertaining, that part in the middle was very much like, what are we doing here? Like, ugh. So that's my biggest critique. I didn't like the like love story between Shane and Francois, especially because of the way it started. It made me very uncomfortable. And then, she does become like a good like i obviously she becomes a part of the family and she's fantastic and i like her very much she's great she's hilarious and very sweet but it just that section in the middle was not it but the rest of the movie i was very impressed with james keach's performance and jane seymour's performance and most of everyone's performance actually but james keach i feel like probably a little bit carried the movie he did an excellent job i feel like being like a very realistic dad who's trying to take care of his family um, and him and Jane Seymour's ability to be such a good team husband and wife duo uh, was amazing. And I was genuinely very impressed by that. That's everything I have for the new Swiss Family Robinson. I liked the movie more than I didn't like parts of it. So my final rating is seven treasures out of 10. Our total movie count is. Our parent death toll is. <laughs> Cry count is still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me in the description. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. Always fun stuff going on over there. Buy merch. Literally, I am just so thrilled with merch. It's like, ugh, I'm having such a good time getting creative and making those designs. So go over and buy some merch. It's so fun to see all of you in it. I did make tank tops available in every design. If I haven't said that, there are phone cases now. Uh, there's mugs, and you can also uh, get... I changed everything from a classic, like, tea to a comfort tea um, because they finally started offering extended sizes in the comfort tea, and the comfort tea is so much softer and a better print quality. So if you were hesitant before, please, please, please go check out merch now because it's just more comfy and cute and yay. Uh, that's everything. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and I'm sure you are, so you do, and don't be Sheldon about it. Am I still recording? Oh, jeez.